Hello YouTube, this is Big Zoe 20 and there's only one thing I really have to say to you. I'm back! So, let's just go ahead and get all of the things out the airway. Let's get it I'll go ahead and go ahead and clear it up. Use that light saw and just, you know, clear up that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Um, first of all, I just wanted to say I just wanna thank all my supporters and all the people who continue to subscribe and continue to view my videos. I never thought there would be such a turnout like this. I never thought when I started YouTube that it would be such a, a big turnout. I also want to give a shout out to A Connection T V, Wes, um the guy who plays Twine and also the one who plays um, Miss Mama Simone on aconnection.tv I just want to thank you for your encouragement and your support when I was going through that little crisis and I heard you I wasn't able to respond because I didn't have internet where I was at but um, thank you so much thank you I love that um, I love you for that um, also um, I just want to say that there was a big backlash off of some videos that I, that I created. There was a big negative backlash that happened from it, um, where people were taking my videos and posting them on other websites and things of that nature. And I just want to say, thank you so much. Thank you for that free publicity. I mean, I don't have the money or the time because you know I'm busy carrying off my life. I really don't have money or the time to, you know, make websites that roast other people. But, you know, thank you for that for that for that bit of uh that bit of publicity, putting me out there. You're my promoter. Um, as Quadir says on um on his on Tamaya the channel Tamaya, as Quadir says, you promote me. So you can't I can't hate you, my promoters. I really can't. Thank you so much. I love you too. You know, thank you. Just keep getting the word out there. Big Zoe is on the up and up. Big Zoe is on the up and up. Now, let's go ahead and wrap it, get into some things. Let's go ahead and get into some things. Um, first, I want to go ahead and talk about the, just the issue that's going on with Rihanna's new pick, nude pics, and Cassie's new pics. Rihanna, Cassie, Cassie, Rihanna. Rihanna, Cassie, Cassie, Rihanna. Uh, first of all, I just want to say, and I'm not trying to put these two ladies on blast or whatever, but who, who do you think was better? Who do you think was, I did not think, I did not think that Rihanna was going to be set like that. I did not think, to be honest with you, that Rihanna was, you know, she was just something sexy. Rihanna was just something sexy in that photo. Now, Perez Hilton... Perez Hilton, if you don't know him, you don't know who that is, he's a gossip diva, he's a gossip queen of the internet, he always dishes it out, whether it's true or false, you know, he, he's the one to dish it, the rumors, the rumors are already, play, the, the rumors are already placated, the rumors are already in place, he believes that Chris Brown released the photos of Rihanna, now, let's go ahead and skip to Cassie first, we don't, I don't really know that much information about who, um, did her photos, who released her photos? I don't really know that information, that much information about that. But all I know is that her, all I know is I saw her ass spread eagle on the bed. Spread eagle just showing her uh, her her um everybody her little um good good just showing it to whoever was doing it. Whether that was Diddy or not, that's up that's in the air. Cause y'all know she Diddy's little mistress, right? But that's a rumor too. That's a rumor too. So y'all know y'all she's these little bitches, right? But um, I'm sorry, I was just playing with my my boo over there. I was just playing with Yes. But um so yes. It was it I'm not I'm not shocked because um I am not really shocked about Cassie's predicament because I mean Cassie, you know, she has a wonderful voice. But come on, let's be honest, she's not really an A-lister in the R&B world. So, you know, for her, for it come out, for this stuff to come out about her, it was just kind of like, okay, you know, Cassie, but, you know, all right, whatever. <sighs> Yawn. And, but Rihanna, I was like, what the fuck? Press on brakes. Bitch, it wasn't enough that you got your ass whooped in February earlier this year. Now you have new pigs circling around about you, um, with you, about you, whatever. 
Now, Chris Brown, Chris Brown um, sent word through a um, through a uh, publicist or whatever, whoever sent word to someone saying that he was not responsible for the new pics with Rihanna. He was not responsible for that shit. And I'm like, in what world do you want us to... And how in the fuck do you want us to believe that? In what world do you want us to believe that? He is not responsible. And somehow or another, you are responsible for this shit. And I'm not coming for Chris Brown in any kind of way. It's not like I dislike him because, you know, he beat the shit out of a female about a couple months ago. It's not like I dislike him for that reason. As a matter of fact, I still have love for Chris Brown. I really do. Oh my goodness, that's, I'm sorry, sometimes when I lie, I almost, sometimes when I, when I lie, I almost die, like, seriously, I lost my breath, ugh, anyway, but, um, anyway, so back to the point, back to the point, you had something to do with, he's talking about something, he had nothing to do with the release of it, okay, the only other, she don't know how it happened, first of all, she hadn't really released any statements about it, but I know that Rihanna, after all that she went through, that she had no, nothing to do with her pics being leaked out. And there was a guy there who looks just like you, bone structures just like you, face structures just like you, face structure with panties on his face. So, call a spade a spade, but I think you had something to do with it. Hmm. But then again, I could be wrong. I could be wrong because I don't think that you would do something like that. You're Chris Brown. You wouldn't do anything to hurt a female. Anyway, um... But you know what? I don't feel bad for Cassie or Rihanna. I don't. Because guess why? Why is it this, this common trend where we as, well not we, excuse me, people as celebrities want to produce sex tapes. Now, the ones who do it on purpose and it's leaked on purpose by them, you know what, whatever, more power to you. But the ones who who do it and are honestly shocked when there are repercussions when there are repercussions that that like like it being leaked out and, and it kind of damages their career what the fuck well what world were you were you stupid bitch what the hell's wrong with you well, you can't do no shit like that when you are in the limelight hell I, you know, I have friends who are in college. They can they can run down the street and strip butt naked if they wanted to. Yeah, they might get arrested for it. I mean, you know, it's against the law to be stripping or whatever like that. But if they get away with it, it was the time of their lives because they can do something like that. They're not in the limelight. You are. You can't go down the street and strip your clothes off. And I know that's kind of different, but, you know, I'm kind of, you know, applying this analogy to this as well. You can't do normal... You can't do stuff that otherwise... I wouldn't say no on people because this is some freaky shit, but um, you can't do stuff that otherwise other people would, would normally do. Other people who aren't in the line might do. So if like, you're making a sex tape and taking new pics of yourself and shit, and the shit's gonna get leaked out. It always gets leaked out. It always does. I don't know who it is. That, that you be showing these shit too. I don't know if you just leave your little pics and your little camera wide out in the open, but it's gonna get leaked out. It's going to. So I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad about it. I just wanna talk about that. And I just wanna say, you guys, I'm back. I'm gonna make new videos. I'm gonna just catch up with you guys. Please keep watching, keep supporting. I love y'all.